This microwave has reached the end of its life. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to replace an over the oven microwave with a new model. This microwave is reached the end of its life. So we're gonna replace it with a newer model and I'll take you through the steps of what you need to do to prepare to uh, get it ready to take down, how to get the old model uninstalled, how to install the new model, and uh, how to make sure everything is working properly. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. GE microwave oven. A little banged up in the box, but hopefully everything's here. Our bolts, air filter, outside vent, glass turntable, circle thingy, another air filter it looks like for the fan, instructions, and the microwave itself, which probably need a little bit of help with getting it out. So to start the process of removing the microwave, what we've done is gone ahead and removed the range that was below it. The reason we did that is because if we, once we start detaching this from the cabinet and from the wall, we wanna make sure that if something were to happen, if this were to slip and fall, that it doesn't damage the stove. So keep that in mind. You don't have to do it necessarily, but it just gives you a, a little extra peace of mind that if it were to slip, that you're not gonna to have to replace a stove, for example, uh, if you weren't planning to do that. So what we'll do is now that this is out, of, the stove is out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and um, take a look up here. We'll go ahead and clean out the upper cabinets, get everything out of there first, and uh, show you how this is attached up at the top and uh, start removing the microwave. It's also probably a good idea to remove everything that's inside the microwave too. So if you have like a uh, glass turntable and uh, this thing, whatever that is, um, go ahead and move those things as well because uh, you don't really want those things kind of jostling around inside the microwave when you're trying to remove it. So first things first, this is inside of the upper cabinet now that we've cleaned everything out of it. We've uh, re removed the uh, shelf that was in here as well uh, just to give us a little bit of extra clearance when we're working with this. You can see here uh, that the previous homeowners had a different type of microwave installed at one point in time uh, compared to the one that's here now because we have these these different holes here compared to the bolts that are installed. So um, first thing we need to do is unplug this and uh, then we'll need to get the uh, microwave removed. The uh, new microwave and all the microwaves should have a template uh, that you can use to show you where the, the holes need to be drilled for the new microwave. And uh, we'll go over all those steps here in this video. When that microwave was installed, this was not installed properly. You can see here that this is only being held on by one bolt in the middle, and you need to have this attached at multiple points, because otherwise what happens is this will bend on the ends. So we're gonna remove this, and then we're gonna have to fix this uh, based off of the new microwave and where the attachment points are. So we need to locate the studs on this wall. I'm pretty sure there's one here because that's where the old microwave was mounted, but we'll double check to be sure. And what do you know? It's right there. So we'll know that this is the stud in this wall. Since there isn't 16 inches this way or that way, we know that this is gonna be the only stud here. So we need to make sure that we attach the mounting bracket at least to this location, plus all the other locations that the mounting bracket says to uh, install it, depending on what microwave model you go with. So this mounting bracket is installed uh, temporarily on the back of this microwave. So we're gonna remove this, get it off of here so we can put it on the wall. And it's level. Let's make sure this is level here.
template and some tape. Now we need to put all these toggle bolts through the mounting plate on the hole where the holes are that we drilled, and then we can put this up on the wall. of buttons now really easy. Here's the finished installation of this microwave and uh, it's pretty nice actually. So just to show you some of the features, this uh, GE Profile microwave has this feature called Chef Connect which actually lets you link the microwave to a stove that also has Chef Connect and you can see here we've, we've got one which is going to be a different video. But what this allows you to do is it will synchronize the clock between both the stove and the microwave, so it's always in sync, always the same time, which is amazing. The other thing that's pretty cool is if you turn on a burner on the stove. Oh, hold on, I gotta unlock the controls. <laughs> I'm like, great, it's not working. All right, so the other thing that's kind of neat with this Chef Connect is if you turn a burner on on the stove, it'll turn on the light uh, underneath the microwave. Ta-da! So that's pretty cool. Um, you can also have it set to turn on the vent fan when you turn on a burner, um, which is also another nice feature. But uh, overall, that's probably the, the fanciest part of this microwave. Otherwise, it's a pretty, pretty basic, pretty solid microwave um, that, uh, that we have here now. 
So that's basically what you need to do to replace an over-the-range microwave. Hopefully you like this video. If you did, leave us a comment below and let us know if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, if you do, we'll do more. Uh, also, if you are interested in this specific microwave that we purchased or any of the tools that we use to do this installation, we'll have links in the description below where you can go and check those things out too. Okay, uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Top Homeowner, where our goal is to help you become the top homeowner in your neighborhood. Thanks again for watching.